let's talk about a team that actually well, does have an iconic uniform, and that would be the Michigan Wolverines. Eric, yes. it, are the Michigan Wolverines the best team in the country? They stomped they, Penn State, that, and many people, including the armpit of America, Ohio's own, Urban Meyer, said, oh, they'll shut down this run game for Michigan. You can guarantee that. that. No, no, they won't, because nah. Blake Corm went for, I think, 166 and two touchdowns, and Donovan Edwards went for 16 carries for 173 yards and two touchdowns. Yeah, good job shutting down the run game there at Penn State. This is now two good defenses that they have gone against. Yeah, they put up almost 400 rushing yards, rushing yards, not total, rushing yards alone against a top five rush defense in Penn State. I, I don't want to say they're the best team yet. You know me. While I am extremely impressed with what they've done thus far. You hate Jim Harbaugh. I don't like Jim Harbaugh, so <laughs> I cannot. I don't want to doubt him because, again, for what they've shown that they're capable of, they're proving it right now. Again, they have been fantastic in terms of their run game. They do a great job at keeping J.J. McCarthy protected. Like, while you're getting him developed, you're not going to be able to get him showing his potential if he's getting hurt all the time. He hasn't been getting touched really at all from what I've seen. So they've been doing a great job of that. Defense as well, they still are just dominating games their defensive line. They need to make a play and get off the field. Like, Penn State was a team that thrived on getting big plays. They're not going to drive the field on 10, 12 plays. That's not their thing. And Michigan did a good job of getting them off the field and giving their offense short possession. So I don't want to say that they're the best team in this country yet. I want to mm -hmm. see what they do against Michigan State, even with Michigan State struggling. I want to see what they do against them. Obviously, Ohio State. But for I think they're well capable of going up there and winning a natty. From what I've seen, they're more than capable of doing it. But are they the best team right now? I can't say that yet. Not yet. So it's interesting that we're talking about this topic, and there was a Facebook memory that popped up for me today. And I'm going to share something with you and completely put myself on blast. But when I lived oh, in wow. Texas, I worked at a cigar shop and had some great friends there. And I was there hanging out, watching college football, and realized one Saturday that I had inadvertently dressed this way like old Mr. <laughs> Harbaugh. <laughs> You look like his intern. What is I this? <laughs> we were watching the game, and one of my buddies there, he was like, you must really be a Michigan fan. And I was like, what? Oh and I looked, gosh. and I go, oh, no. So I was that like, all hilarious. right, you got to take a picture of it just to make fun of like myself in perpetuity. But, you know, as much as I may have unintentionally dressed like Jim Harbaugh during my time in Texas, that does not change the fact that, no, I do not believe that Michigan is the best team in the country right now. And there's a reason for that, right? Have they been playing really good football? Yes, they have been Definitely. playing really good football on both sides of the ball. If you think about it over the last two games, Indiana and Penn State, how many points have they given up in the second half of those two games? Four total quarters. Three points. Unbelievable. That's it. They mm -hmm. shut Indiana out in the second half, and then they only gave up three points to Penn State. And truthfully, if you think about it, they got – I'm trying to make sure that my math is correct, but they gave up 17 total to Penn State, and one of those was a pick six. So right. they really only gave up 10 – defensively, 10 points. But And that one touchdown was on a long, busted assignment run by Sean Clifford right? The 108th year senior. And so they're playing really good football. Do I think that Michigan State stands a chance when they come back from the bye? I really don't think Michigan State stands a chance when they come back from the bye. Do I think any team stands a chance against Michigan right now? No, I don't think any team stands a chance until they get to Columbus. And that Columbus game could very well create a lot of chaos, right? Michigan loses, maybe Ohio State goes on to lose. Like, there's – with Tennessee and Ole Miss actually being in the conversation and Alabama only having one loss right now, the fact that Ohio State and Michigan cannot meet in the Big Ten championship game is hurting the Big Ten in a lot of ways. 100%. Right? Yep. I don't want them to change – so that we don't get the game in the regular season. I don't want the game to be dependent upon them being in the Big Ten Championship. But 
like that hurts them because whoever loses that Ohio State Michigan game is out of the college football picture, right. playoff picture, because you yep. do not have the championship appearance and then getting in. Right. So is Michigan the best team? No, I don't think that they're the best team in the country right now, but I think they're close. Like you said, I, I think that come November, whatever that date is in Columbus, they're definitely going to be in the conversation for that, especially yep. if Alabama's down a little bit, especially if a couple of lost SEC teams, if Tennessee falls off their high horse and isn't making it through, like, I think there's definitely opportunity there, but we'll see. We'll see. Definitely, it's exciting. Clearly, I wear the colors proudly. It may be disingenuous to say this, Eric, but mm-hmm. if you were to look at JJ's stat line, you were to look at Cade's stat lines from last year, are they much different? No, I saw it. I looked at the <laughs> same thing. No, they're basically the same. And I'm not using that as an argument to say that, you know, Cade needs to be the guy that gets into the game and and all that that's not the argument i'm making because clearly jj is the better person for the job i just want to see him open it up and i just want to see him throw the ball a little bit yeah just for our sake just for our viewing sake i'm not one that needs to be entertained because i watch football differently i can watch them run the ball with blake quorum 28 times and gain 163 yards and be like that's darn good football Mm -hmm. right if it's working don't fix it it's not broke. Don't fix it. Right. So there's, it's just funny to me that everybody clamored because Cade couldn't throw the ball and his stats were just terrible. And he got JJ now and the game plan hasn't changed much. 